this Sunday at NXT's Great American Bash taking place at the HEB Center at Cedar Park, just just a little northwest of Austin, about 15 minutes here from, from here at the Sports Guys Talking Wrestling World Headquarters. The North American Championship will be on the line as that dirty Dominic Mysterio defends that title in a triple threat against Mustafa Ali and my guest joining me on the Vaqueros Cafe and Cantina Hotline. We've known this guy for a while. He's been, he's been up and down the roads in wrestling part of the circus fam too. It is Wesley. Follow him on Twitter at Wesley underscore WWE Wes, my friend, it is good to see you. How you been? I am doing great. How are you doing? I'm good, man. It's, it's been a while. I think we were, we were just talking about before we started. I think the last time you and I were together, we were at Whataburger after a reckless wrestling mm-hmm. show. That spicy yep. ketchup. That spicy ketchup. <laughs> there you spicy go. Spicy ketchup. Get that sweet and spicy burger, too. Yeah. No, see? Uh, no, no, uh, no mushroom. There you go. There you no go. Uh, before we get to, you know, everything with NXT, what did you like about wrestling in Austin? Because, you know, you, you came down here with the boys, you know, wrestling, wrestle circus so many times. what did you like about wrestling in Austin? the vibe like everyone was there to enjoy themselves and it was it was like the place to be at the time no matter what was going on in the area the show was it um and that's that's a unique thing to have and when you have that kind of vibe going into the show and things like that, it just makes you really want to step up and pe- so that people are able to go home really talking about something special. Yeah. Tell you what, it didn't burn very long, but it burned hot. It was when it was on, it was on as good as it was. I tell you what, um, you joined NXT in December of 2020. So that was in the middle of the pandemic. You know, mm-hmm. you, you, so you leave Impact Wrestling, go to, go to WWE, join NXT. I got to imagine while you were, you're excited, there had to be some uncertainty, not only just because you're changing companies, but we're also in the middle of a, of a global pandemic. Give me your thoughts on, <laughs> on doing that move in the middle of that. Um, scared. Yeah. That, that was 100% of feeling that I was feeling. Um, but at the same time, during the pandemic, there were only a few things that were still operating at that time. And one was professional wrestling. So like, I had a feeling that it wasn't that, I don't want to say a bad decision because it's not a bad decision to come to the WWE, but the time period, um, whether it was a a smart move to do. Mm-hmm. And I 100% agree with uh, my past self in making that decision because it led to where we are now. Um, we, we hoped and we prayed that the world would open back up to be a bit more normal. And as it's made its way to start to transition back into that mm-hmm. wrestling is back on the full swing. And I'm, I'm very happy to be where I'm at right now and to have gone through the struggles and strifes that I have so that I can be who I am now. So yeah, scared, yeah. uncertain. But at the exact same time, that 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 feeling made me, made me let me know that this was the proper decision because it was the next stage. It was one hundred percent the next stage for me. Absolutely, I agree. And yeah, it was it was great. It was a great move. Like I said, just you know, with the uncertainty of of COVID nineteen and everything, I get that. You just talk about the struggles and the challenges. What did those struggles and challenges? And we're going all you know all the way to today. What have they taught you about you, not only as a wrestler, but as a person? Don't be so doubtful of yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, It's okay to have that doubt in your mind to force you to really assess the situation a certain way, but do not doubt your abilities especially if they've gotten you to the front door of these opportunities that are in front of you. Um, There's definitely going to be more opportunities on the other side of that door, but you at least got to believe in yourself to try to step through that door. And sometimes the door is not open. 
Sometimes you got to knock a couple times and sometimes you got to kick it down. But there are times where the door is completely wide open and it's just waiting for you to make the decision to commit. And as I've had struggle in my career and life, I've realized that the more and more that I just commit myself fully, the better it works out for me. Um, relationships, like both professional and um, and personal, have been better the more that I've been able to commit to them and give them my all instead of trying to compartmentalize and put little bits and pieces here and there. I'm learning that I'm much better at multitasking than I thought that I was. Um, and being able to call upon the emotions that are necessary to be able to get myself through the situation that it's calling for. But in, in, in regards to being able to grow within that, it's been exponential to have that doubt being on the forefront to really make you fine tune yourself and push yourself to that limit. Well, and, and I know you've pushed yourself, you know, uh, and, and you've reached some great heights so far in NXT. Um, I do want to ask, you know, you've been a singles wrestler for a while, but you were a tag team wrestler for a long time. Of course, you know, part of the rascals and all that good stuff. Uh, I would suspect you're probably enjoying your run as a singles wrestler. It, it, I would dare say maybe, maybe more than, than back in the days as a tag team. I, I can't compare the two. Yeah, I can't. Um, because they're two different. I don't want to say two different time periods because uh, I, I'm the same person that I was, that I was going through both of them. Um, I've just grown. It's, it's, when I was tagging, I was doing it with my brother yeah. and brothers, and we were sharing in this dream together. We were accomplishing our goals together, and we were we were growing not only alongside of each other, but on the in our own little ways as well. It me doing things on my own. It's I still have them there. I still converse with them, yeah. <laughs> um, very much. To the point that it's not necessarily that different. It's just now I'm receiving everything for myself, just like they're receiving everything for themselves. And it's nice. It's nice to have that individual kudos being given to us and having those, that adulation being given directly to us instead of it being the collective group. But we definitely still miss it. And we miss each other. We miss the 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 fun that we had when we were working together. So it's it's I, I can't say that I like one or I love one more than the other. I, I love them both evenly. It's 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 apples and oranges. It's just dependent. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I get you. All right. So you won the North American title in October. And mm -hmm. you know, you you racked up the longest reign as a North American champion and the most title defenses. Was that validation? of your run as a singles wrestler? Yes. Not only for fans, but for myself. Um, again, going back to that doubt, I didn't know where I was going to be after the split of MSK. I doubted myself and whether or not I deserved to be here anymore because I was brought in as a tag team wrestler. I was no longer a tag team wrestler, so what is my purpose now? And I doubted who I was and what I was capable of. I thank, I thank the heavens for my coaches for being able to <laughs> let me know that I really had what was necessary for me to be the success that I, that everybody felt that I could be and what I wanted to be. So that, yeah, hats off to coach Terry Taylor and coach Steve Carino for making sure that I kept my mind, body and spirit uh, properly prepared for what was the or what was ahead of me in the coming months after uh, the split of MSK, and even afterward, I'm still speaking with these two uh, legends in my eyes um, about just life. Um, both individuals have gone through many a struggle, um, some things that I'm not even able to fathom, 
but they're able to translate their learning experience into something that I'm able to translate to my life. And they're trying, they're doing their best to make sure that I don't follow into the same mistakes that they made in their career path and prevent the success that I should be having by making dumb decisions. So I thank them. I thank them very heavily. Um, and yeah, it, 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 this, it's just a good time period right now. Yeah. You mentioned Terry Taylor. I had, a, I had the unique opportunity to say hi to him in Los Angeles. Uh, it was lunchtime and something. And I, ran, I ran into him. Of course, I remember the days. I remember when he was wrestling in Mid-South Wrestling. You know, he used to throw the five <laughs> arm, you know, back way back in the day. So, all right. Wes, I say this with all the love I have for you. You know, you know I love you. What wait, you wait, wait. What are you about to say? What were you thinking letting Dominic Mysterio challenge for that North American title? <laughs> you get because you know the judgment day was going to be involved. I didn't know the whole judgment day was going to be involved. I didn't see anybody else there. All okay. I saw was Rhea attached to his hip. Well, actually, he was holding on to her back pocket. Well, yeah. Um, either way, I, I saw yeah. only the two of them. Finn came out of nowhere. Damon came out of nowhere. And then, of course, the one that I was actually paying attention to the most, Rhea, is the one that actually got me. Um, but, yeah, you know me. You know me for oh. years. Like, I I, I mean, I sometimes act a little I crash, I, and I do not back down from a challenge. Like, I, I, my entire life has been a challenge, so why step away from them now? Understood. I get you. Um, let's talk about this triple threat. First of all, what's the deal with you and Mustafa Ali? That has been the weirdest relationship going, you know, all the way back to when he first appeared in NXT. It's been this weird kind of like, I, you kind of hold him at an arm's length type of deal. What What's up? What's up with, with you and Ali? Uh, I knew what he wanted when he first got down here. It was, the, and I understood why he wanted to go about it the way that he did. He wanted to prove himself just as I did. And I have to give him his credit for that. He's definitely proven himself to be worthy of the North American championship. I knew that from the beginning. I wanted him to have that opportunity as soon as he got down here because that's what he was 100% looking for. But I let him go about his business and, and follow through with it. But in the same time, I saw the tactics that he was doing during that process. And it's not somebody that I can really hold near and dear to my heart. Like with Tyler, he, he, he kind of danced around it. And... I, 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 he masked it behind his friendship. Mustafa Ali has not masked it behind friendship. He's told me straight up what he wants and how he's going to do it. I just, I just do not like the tactics that he is doing in order to get to his end goal. So I'm keeping him at, at an arm's length. I have respect for the man. I have to have respect for the man. He has accomplished a lot and he's, and he's, he's done his due diligence to stand out amidst everybody else on the roster just don't like what he's doing just don't like that like you you, you can like somebody but not their actions it's, that's that's just where it's at yeah i get it Their dirty dom on the other hand yeah no nah, i want to smack the taste out of his mouth <laughs> uh and yeah that and then of course it goes into this triple threat match dominic mysterio you mustafa ali uh Give me your thoughts. Give me maybe a peek into your strategy. You know that at least part of the judgment day is going to be ringside. You know, it, it'll probably be maybe just Rhea Ripley. Who knows? Might be the might be the rest of the crew. But give me your thoughts on how you're going to come out on top and regain that championship. I'm going to have to. I don't want to give the game plan game plan because they might be watching. Right. Like, I don't want. I mean, don't I, give it. Don't give me that, everything, but give just give me a thought on it. I mean, um, the, kick them in the head. Right. Um, try to go for the knockout because if they're knocked out, they can't kick out. Um, I'm, the the main thing is how can I 
protect myself the proper way against Rhea Ripley. Because you know me, I'm a gentleman. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I couldn't put my hands on a woman, but again, I have to protect myself. I, yeah, it, it's, it, 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 now, you're, now you're making me have to reassess my initial game plan that I had, which was just swing at anything that's in front of me. Because it's a no disqualification match. I do not know if Finn's going to be there. I do not know if Damian's going to be there. I don't know if 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 Mustafa is going to call in some friends on his own because he's having to assess everybody that's a part of the Judgment Day. I don't know if I need to call in some friends myself to see if I need to assess because of the Judgment Day. Either way, I'm 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 now really going to have to formulate a whole different game plan. So I thank you for making me reassess this. Well. I, I tell you what, I have all the confidence in the world in you. Uh, again, having seen you so many years, you know, you know, here in Austin and, and elsewhere, I know, I know you can get the job done. He is Wesley catch him this Sunday at the NXT great American bash this Sunday, HGB center at Cedar park bell time, six 30 PM central. Tickets are available, Ticketmaster.com. If you cannot be there at the arena, make sure you catch it, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central on Peacock. Wes, you know I love you. All the best to you. Looking forward to seeing you back here in Austin. Thanks for the time, my friend. Oh, no, it's an absolute blessing sharing the time with you as well, Stu. Thank you so much for having me on. Love you.